We're part of the newest sport in Frederick County. Stay tuned to find out what it is. In 2019, the Virginia High School League approved a pilot program for eSports, and all of Frederick County's high schools are now offering students the opportunity to participate on eSports teams. So eSports is electronic sports, um, and what it amounts to is playing video games competitively. That's the watered-down definition of it. There are a couple different leagues that uh, players can actually compete in. Um, the most prevalent seems to be Rocket League. It's a, a more favored game, but there is also a League of Legends. There's also a game called Hearthstone. Although participating in eSports is different than traditional athletic endeavors like football, basketball, and soccer, it offers many of the same benefits to students. It is a way to connect to the other students that might be in their school. It's also to make a good way to make a connection to the school itself because some of the students that do eSports, not all, but some of the students that do eSports don't participate in any other kind of extracurricular activity in the building. So this does give them some ownership for their schools. Um, I really feel like teamwork-wise, like it's, it's a good thing to have and work together with people. It's, I mean, I've always been like a very social person, so I'm like, I'm, that's not a problem with me, but um, I feel like being together with three other people or two other people, and talking to them and going over what's going on is a very like communication helpful thing. Uh, it's probably my only connection to the school really. Um, I, I would try football, but I feel like there's too much time for that. And video games, I can practice whenever I want, how I want, and stuff like that. Esports competitions occur online and involve two, three person teams from different schools. So you might have. Um, you know, six students uh, in a room and they have their headsets on and they're communicating to, to each other back and forth, um, you know, calling out um, goals or calling out where they're going to be. And um, so they're competing and then they are also competing against another group of students who are in another room somewhere else and they're doing the same thing on their end. Uh, so the competition, it's pretty much whoever has the better chemistry. And what I mean by that is like, who's built the most relationship with each other and like you've developed vital skills like teamwork, um, communication skills, and leadership. A key component would probably be like just talking to each other, making sure we know where each other are going in the game. Um, make sure everyone's on the same page wise for keeping up with, since there's three of us on the field at once, there's six people total playing. So you have to make sure you know where everyone's at, what they're going to do, and everything like that. Esports are continuing to grow and are helping to get students interested in pursuing careers in areas such as computer science and cybersecurity. I am very involved with technology and I like to do all that kind of stuff. I probably want to be uh, something in the cybersecurity field. So learning about this kind of stuff now is actually pretty helpful because I can learn what the games are made on, what they use to run the stuff that goes behind the games in each individual game. Because of eSports, you're pretty well known with the computer and how it works, so could easily repair them or like, I know how to basically do anything on a computer. I can code, stuff like that, so it's really helped me develop those skills that I would need in a workplace. Mm -hmm.